Kendall King has led the Chicago Cubs back to the World Series, and we are playing the Minnesota Twins. Yeah, it's definitely 2023 if the Minnesota Twins are actually this good to get to the World Series, but never mind that. Kendall has one goal, and it is to walk out of here with a W in four games to get this World Series over. Now, you get a quick look at the teams. Obviously, Kendall led our team in batting average and home runs and RBIs. Uh, Felipe Espinosa was actually our best strikeout pitcher. Juan Ferreira, our best ERA. This team is built from top to bottom, but the Twins, they aren't really a slouch. Cortez is a good picture for them we have our work cut out for us today but the good news is we are playing at home in game one of the world series our fans are here to support us hopefully we can walk out of here with a nice big w and here comes Harmon moreno this dude in the postseason has low-key been trash how are you the lead off hitter batting 179 in the entire playoffs this dude has a little bit of power four home runs never mind that but the average low-key trash all right so we're here in the field there's a runner on first base there's one out two strikes on this guy Kendall is ready for a double play. The ball gets hit to him. I'm feeling pretty strong about a double play possibility. This ball's hitting the hole. Kendall's going to back in. He can get it over to second base in time. He does. It's a little off balance, but this one goes to first, but the runner is safe at first. Pretty close, but I feel like we should have had that double play. Now, here comes Kendall. Look at the batting average in the postseason. 459, six home runs, 14 RBIs for this dude. Little known fact, Kendall has actually switched his bat for the postseason here in the World Series. He has a brand new bat. He's ready to try and break it in. Will it be good or will it be bad well let's find out now so the cubbies have actually already scored a run here in the bottom of the first inning here in the home kendall's going to try to rip one out here first pitch high inside fastball they're trying to test kendall he likes to swing at those but he's going to lay off for that one now the counts even at one one they just tried him with a high outside fastball this one's going to be a little bit lower it goes up the middle of this shortstop cannot get to it kendall is going to reach base safely it feels so good to have this man back in the world series where he belongs all right now anthony rizzo's coming up his average in the postseason has been okay a little bit better than i thought he would actually do with 250 batting average but we need him to play much much better here in the world series waiting on the pitcher to throw his delivery he goes in kendall goes out to second base rizzo's going to swing this ball's hit to the shortstop it's past him kendall's going to move his way over to third the left fielder oh you know what we're going to actually stop because that dude's got a little bit of a cannon, so instead of going, we're going to try and steal third base here instead, move our way over. Nice little play, though, by Anthony Rizzo. Now, Cole Scruggs is up to bat. He's a right-handed hitter, so he had a decent chance to steal here. Waiting on Cortez to throw this one in. As soon as his leg moves, we're out. It moves. We got a little bit of a decent jump. Scruggs is going to hit one out to right field. This one. Oh, this one's going to drop. He missed it. He dove. He risked it all. He risked it for the biscuit. It's not going to pay off. Kendall is going to score. Nice little play there by Cole Scruggs. Rizzo's going to actually test home to Rizzo. Oh, no. Okay, Rizzo held a third. Smart move by Anthony Rizzo. He's not very fast. But a great hit by Cole Scruggs. Now, here in the field, again, Kendall scored the second run of the ball game. So, we have a 2-0 lead here in the top of the second inning. A runner is on second base, though, and only one out. We're going to try and hold him at second and get the out at first. This ball is going to be smacked to Kendall. We're going to hold that runner at second base. Make sure he doesn't run to third when we throw this one. He's going to stay put, and we get the out at first. Here comes Kendall. Back up one for one on the day. A nice little single that just went past the shortstop earlier. I want to see more power, maybe a hit in the gap out here to get himself a double, a triple, or maybe even a home run. But look, we've scored another run. We're in command so far today. A runner on first base and two outs for Kendall. Ball's in. It's going to be low. Kendall pokes at it. Should not have swung at that one. The second baseman gets it there a couple steps ahead of Kendall, and that is going to end the inning. Now, back up at the plate, look, the first inning, pretty solid. His second at bat, though, not exactly what we thought we'd see from Kendall. He's got to make sure the ball is over the plate before he swings because those are situations that he has to capitalize on. But good news for Kendall, bottom of the fourth inning, he's back up. Runners on first and second with only one out. First pitch is inside, and Kendall again is going to get jammed. This one's going deep into foul territory right into the first baseman's glove disappointment is the only word that comes to mind for that at bat okay kendall look seriously first inning great third and fourth innings not so good to be perfectly honest with you let's pick things up here you had runners in scoring position last time this time you don't minnesota has actually found a way to score so it's a 5-2 ball game in the bottom of the sixth inning now this ball is going to be a high four seam fastball that we're going to not even think about swinging at all right, Kendall, here we go. Runner on first base, one out, and oh, they throw to first base and they drop it. I'm honestly surprised that Cortez is still in the ball game. Look at this dude. He's giving up five runs. Why do you still have him in there? And Kendall underneath of another one. Popped up to the first baseman. That's going to be another out for Kendall and another disappointing at bat. And that's going to seal it. Kendall should have used his showtime in his previous at bat, but look, started the game strong, ended up scoring a run when he needed to. The Cubs somehow rallied around that and Kendall's horrible performance got the W, but it's on to game number two where we need Kendall to play significantly better because we need that World Series MVP. And the way we're playing right now, 
that's not going to lock it up. Game one for Kendo started off strong, but game number two needs to be significantly better. We were 1-0 lead in the World Series. We're back here at home in Wrigley Field, and it is a torrential downpour. I mean, look at how much rain is coming down here at Wrigley Field. And Kendo says, I don't care about the rain. I don't care about that man's mustache. We're going to get a much better performance out of Kendo in game number two, and hopefully a 2-0 lead. Now, pitching for us today is Juan Ferreira. This dude led us in strikeouts, but his ERA in the postseason has been horrible. 6.55, which means he's given up a lot of runs, just like his hairline has given up a lot and lot of lost hair. We're going to see if we can do better than what he's going to give us today and walk out of here with a W. Now, there were rumors that they were going to call this game and postpone it a little bit because there's so much rain, but Kendall said, no, no, no. I like the rain. I play pretty good in the rain. Let us play. Let us walk out of here with this W that we highly deserve. Now, runners on first and second with nobody out here for Kendall in the bottom of the first inning. First one's going to be low. Kendall smacks it up the middle. It's going to be close to being a double play. They're going to try to get the double play. They end up not even throwing it to first. They do get the force out at second. But you know what? Kendall's going to steal second on this next at bat and hopefully be fine. Oh, here comes Anthony Rizzo, one out. We got to avoid the double play. If they get a double play, the inning is over, and we have a runner in scoring position. We got to capitalize on that. Now, the pitcher's going to move. We're going to go to second base. Rizzo's going to swing. He's going to miss. This ball goes to second, and Kendall swipes second base. Look at this man looking like a thief. Swiper, no swiping as he gets second while Anthony Rizzo strikes out. And now we're sitting on second base. A runner is on third. There's two strikes. Cole Scruggs is, out, is up, and there's two outs. Please don't strike out or get out here, Cole Scruggs. And, uh, yeah, striking out, not swinging in the World Series, not the best option at all. All right, Kendall is back up 0 for 1 technically with a ground on the first. It was a fielder's choice, so he's got to do much better. The power is just non-existent right now. Where is your power, Kendall King? Show up in the biggest moments. Big-time players make big-time plays. We need you to come in clutch here. Now, bottom of the third inning, nobody out. One runner on first base. Same pitcher is still in the ballgame as is a 0-0 tie. First pitch. Way outside. I mean, not even close. Not even remotely close on that one. Here we go. 1-0 count. Looking for a fastball. There is going to be a fastball that's smacked over there. They're going to go for the double play. No chance to get Kendall. Kendall's going to end up being safe again. Another fielder's choice for this young fella. What is going on? The mullet man throws you out. So Anthony Rizzo's back up. Kendall is ready to steal. He is a full count, though, this time. So what is Rizzo going to do? Is he going to strike out? Is he going to walk? Is he going to get a base hit? Let's find out. This ball's in. Rizzo's going to pop one deep. We're going to try to hold right here. This one's going back. Oh, this one is off the wall. Kendall should have been going the entire time. We're going to move over to third base. We should have trusted Anthony Rizzo. Instead, we moved to third with no problem. Rizzo gets a double, and now we have two players in scoring position. All right, now, Cole Scruggs, if you remember, earlier in the ballgame had a strikeout when we had two runners in scoring position. Let's see if he can do a little bit different this time with a 1-2 count and two runners again in scoring position with only one out. Now, Scruggs smacks one. This one's going to go to the second baseman. Second baseman goes to first. We're going to get the inning. Uh, we're going to get the first run of the ball game here in the third inning. The runner moves to third. Cole Scruggs is down at first, and hopefully we can get another W or another run. So now we end up scoring two runs, so it's 2-0 here in the top of the fourth inning. One runner on, nobody out. The delivery comes in. This ball smacked over to the second baseman. Kendall is ready for the double play. Bare hands that ball, gets to the first base, and this is incredible. Look at how good Kendall is at turning double plays. This is why this man is now a gold glove winning shortstop. Two ground outs, a stolen base, a run. This dude has had two fielder's choices. Let's do something better here, Kendall. Now, in the bottom of the fifth inning, there's literally nobody on for us. So we're going to save our showtime, hopefully, for our next at bat. The first pitch in the rain is low, and Kendall drills it, but that's going to be a deep, deep pop out for somebody. Not a souvenir, unfortunately, as Kendall makes his way almost all the way to second base with another pop out. What is going on with the greatest player of all time right now? He's not playing like Kendall King. Now, moving on to the top of the sixth inning, nobody on and nobody out for this guy. We got a 2 0 lead still. This ball's going to be smacked. It's a little bit of a chopper. Kendall's going to try to play. He could have barehanded this one, but instead opts to get it with his glove. Gets it over to first base just in time to get him out for another assist at first base. Now, moving on to the top of the seventh inning. One out and nobody on here for Bruce Michael. Ferreira is still in the ballgame. He's actually dealing with his ERA being almost at seven runs. It's crazy that he hasn't given up a single run in today's ballgame. So, Kendall gets the ball over to Rizzo. Almost in the dirt, but it's just in time again for another good play at first. Okay, here comes Kendall. 0 for 3. A fly out in the fifth. He somehow got in a stolen base. He scored a run. But this is not an acceptable performance. He almost has no hits so far in the World Series in the first two games. Only a single one. You've got to do better here. Now, a left-hand pitcher's in. We're not super great against them. First ball, though, is going to be low just outside of the strike zone from Lopez. Three balls, no strikes. You shouldn't swing, but Kendall says, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to swing if I get a strike. 
This ball's gonna be low. Kendall decides to swing. You know what? We got a base hit. That's our second base hit of the World Series. We needed that. We can't be out here complacent, trying to get walked. We needed the base hit. That would have been a walk regardless, but still, we need to feed Kendall's eagle right now to get the momentum going. Now, Anthony Rizzo, if you guys remember, had a deep fly ball that ended up being a double earlier. So, no outs. Kendall's the only guy on base. We're gonna try and swipe second base here. And of course, we're going in. He does a slide step. They're gonna throw Rizzo out, and Kendall gets into second base, no problem. So, a strikeout, almost a throwout, but Kendall swipes second base pretty easily. All right, here comes Cole Scruggs again. Kendall is on second base, ready to steal third. He's leaning a little bit. Lopez is a little nervous. Is he going to go for a slide step again? He almost does. This ball smacked over in the first base hole. Kendall's going to round third base. The right fielder has no chance to throw Kendall out. That is an insurance run in every stretch of the imagination. A 3-0 lead right now. Thank you, Cole Scruggs, for getting a base hit. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to walk out of here with another W. So Kendall, he's been a little lackluster so far in the World Series. We need him to step up, that's for sure. But look, a couple of hits, a couple of runs, a lot of stolen bases. And right now, the Cubs are enjoying a 2-0 lead. Can they march on in the World Series and sweep this Minnesota Twins team? Well, we'll find out in the very next episode.